Hi there, nail besties. Welcome back to Down for Glam. So this week we've sculpted and we've ombreed. We have done color blocking. We have done stamping and marbling. And so I thought what we would do today uh, is just combine a few of those things together into a look for Dolly. And so that is what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy that. Go ahead and settle in because I think this may end up being kind of a long video even with speed ups. So enjoy. Besties, we have her filed up and ready to move on 
to the next step in the process. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and paint both these nails black. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. Okay guys, I've we've got two coats of black on there. Now what I thought we would do, because like I said, we're going to incorporate a few of the things that we did in throughout the week into this set. So what I'm going to do is take the idea of the color blocking just by making these tips black. telling you it is not easy to get this thick black on this so I'm gonna do similar to what I did it when I was getting the the other colors because it's hard those stiff gels do not like the little brushes or maybe the little brushes don't like the gels there you go I think that's a more accurate description of what's happening here Okay, I'm going to try to clean that up a little with some alcohol. Oh, maybe a little too much, maybe a little too much, I need to see this from this direction. So I've just broken my client's arm. Of course, if it was a client, I would have gone a different direction with that. I would not have broken my client's arm. Oopsie, client. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, client. Okay, that's a little better. Oops, I almost dipped that in the black. I don't think you got to see that because I think that's a little off camera. But if you did, I bet you were going, GG, watch out. Okay, now I'm going to take this brush and just really carefully fill this in. Which I don't think you're seeing. I'm sorry. Okay. 
So I actually watched um, Kirsty Meekin's video on nail nails this morning, which is today, the day that this goes up, because I actually, sorry, that was loud. It's windy and my door moved. So, all right, I'm going to pop that in the lamp really fast. But um, anyway, I saw Kirsty Meekin uh, showing us their new product, the um, <sighs> the Builder in a Bottle, and she did a really pretty rose quartz nail, which is exactly the kind of rose quartz nail I would like to be able to create, but I don't have the exact right products. However, I have no actual desire to buy Builder in a Bottle, because it just seems like it's a product designed just to sell product and not it's not that I'm not saying the builder isn't good I'm just like why would you buy a bottle of builder like that when you could just buy a whole pot of builder um I don't I don't understand the way it's being packaged I guess is what I'm saying because I really like working with gel but I don't want to just buy the same amount that I'm buying nail polish, right? When you're buying gel, you want to buy a big pot of gel. So I don't really understand that, I guess. Let me know what you think about builder gel in a bottle. Maybe I'm just being a bitch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I have got I don't know if this is going to work out. We might just be wiping this off, okay? But my thinking is, let me just wipe this brush off real quick. Because if I don't, just out in the open air, even though it doesn't really cure, it does get stickier and tackier, I think. If you don't clean it right away, I need to get a lot more brushes. So I can have some for dark colors and some for light colors and some for glitters and you know what I'm saying people you know okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to use the same brush I was using for the black and I'm going to pick up some of this that we still have left over here let me show you what I mean from doing the marbles okay and I'm going to let me scooch that back a little I'm going to paint down half the nail I don't know if this is really going to work out, guys. We're just trying it. Okay, if it doesn't work out, we will try something else. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up some of the red and go down the other side. And I think you guessed it. We're going to try to ombre this. What do you think, guys? You think it's going to ombre? Let me know. Tell me now before we go further. Do you think this is going to ombre? Here, let's pick a little up. Pick a tiny bit up and then pull it through. Uh oh, I think we got an ombre. I think we got an ombre here. Uh oh, ombre. Ombre. Oh my. That's a pretty ombre, too. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Whew. You know, I was on the fence, but let's go ahead and do the same over here. So, I'm going to... I don't know if I've got enough red, honestly. Let me see if I can paint this side, even. No. No, I cannot. So, we're going to have to make a tiny bit maybe 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 I'm crazy maybe I'm crazy 
maybe I do have enough I've just got to pull it all together see what we can do here. It's already ombreing a little because I actually do have both colors on here. It is not, I'm going to say, as smooth as say doing nail polish. It's definitely got more of a drag to it, but it's totally doable. Just going to drag through here and then come back through with this more red. Okay, I'm actually so in love with this, you guys. I'm going to pop this in the lamp. Okay, before we top coat, I'm so sorry I hit that camera a little hard. <laughs> sorry, guys. One more little detail I thought we would add before we top coat time is this little stripe of red tape. I just felt like it would really pull the look together. Hold on, it's hard to cut this. If she were a client, I'd have her hand like this, looking at me instead of, you know, doing craziness. But, you know, Dolly doesn't have an arm, so I really just have to work with her the way I can. I try to make it as much like working with a client as I can because that's really what you're trying to practice, right? I mean, that's what I'm trying to practice. So, I feel like sometimes with striping tape, it's just easier to waste a little, otherwise you're gonna spend so much time. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? sound off in the comment section below. So I wanted to mention that uh, we are up to 40 members of the Bestie Tribe. I'm super excited to welcome all of you to this channel. Thank you so much for coming and subscribing and being part of my nail adventure journey. Definitely feel like there's too much right there okay guys it's top coat in time I feel like you're not really seeing that red tape it looks so pretty maybe it'll show up a little better after top coat in time I see a little goober there if this was a client we would stop and fix it but for the sake of brevity and this video, we're going to do top coat in time, okay? Okie dokie, artichokey. I really love this. Oh, I forgot to finish my little Kirsty Meekin story. But it made me realize, even though I don't want Builder in a bottle, I want a lot more colors of Builder. So I can try more things like what she did. I can't wait. I really, really can't. So as the collection grows, we're going to be able to do more things together. I think that's so fun. I absolutely love this set, you guys. Let me know below if you enjoy what Dolly's wearing today. What would you change? What would you fix? How would you make it better? Or do you just not like it at all? But I think it's definitely more of a fall color set. It's fun. It's fabulous. And as always, you will see a few shots of these on the way out. 
with some sort of EDM style music. A lot less hokey pokey than before, right? I hope you're enjoying that. And if you are, you can find music for your own. This is not sponsored, by the way, but you can find music for your own videos at freestockmusic.com and there's a link in my description that'll take you right there and they've got lots of different styles it's not just the kind that I pick so if you're looking for stuff all they ask is that you credit them and of course you would because you're cool like that thanks again for coming by guys and we will see you in the next video bye says Dolly bye